What's this? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so here is the situation. Um, all of a sudden, like a week and a half ago, maybe our camera just decided to stop working. Now we have a Canon G7X Mark II. Um, it stopped working literally in the middle of turning it on, so the lens has been open for like a week and a half. Now, for those of you who have been watching us for a while, you know that probably like maybe a month ago or two, I don't remember, I think it was in August actually, it fell off of the windowsill um, maybe about a foot and this, um, the back of it wouldn't shut. I was worried that there was going to be like something wrong with it, but we continued to vlog every single day turning the camera on and off, you know, like... 20 times a day or how however many times um you know up until the other day when i grabbed the rechargeable battery opened up the inside here plugged it in shut it turned it on and when i turned it on it died so i was like that's weird so i knew the other battery that we had was fine we just usually switch it out every day because I mean, you never know what's going to happen if we end up going out somewhere. Like, I want to make sure we have a full battery for the day. Switch to that battery. Didn't work. Switch to the other battery again. The one that was brand new fresh. Didn't work again. Looked online. People were telling me to, like, blow inside the camera, which kind of took me back to my old, like, Nintendo days. So I was like, all right, well, I'll try anything. Man, I was blowing so much that my cheeks were, like... Felt like I had been blowing up balloons. Oh, they were tingling. It was horrible. So, couldn't get it to work. I went to Best Buy. Um, found out that, uh, well, it's going to cost pretty much the same amount to get a new one. So, I was on Twitter last night and I came across like all these posts like, Hey, Domino's, how many shares to get a free pizza delivered to my house? So, I thought, eh. I'm going to write Canon. I never expected to get a free camera or anything, but I just said how many retweets to get you guys to look at it, to fix it, because, I mean, it's over a year old, so technically it is without the warranty. It's our fault because we didn't buy the plan, which I can, I literally can remember standing in the aisle with Carrie and Carrie saying, should we get the service plan? And I said... I don't think that's a good idea. I think we're going to blow through this camera. Well, then I find out that this camera is like the top-notch vlogging camera. You know, so like we probably should have. Anyway, so Canon sent us a tweet and said, please reach out to our team. They're available right now. So I want you guys to see that. I want you to see how the process goes. So I'm going to give them a call and we're going to see what happens. I hope this isn't super boring for everyone. Thanks so much for calling Canon Customer Support. Just so you know, support for most of our products is also available online 24 hours a day at usa.canon.com. So we can answer your questions as quickly as we can. You can help us connect you to the right support representative by choosing the option that best suits your needs. Okay, good stuff. Oh, and to make sure you get the high-quality service you deserve, your call may be monitored or recorded. For help buying a Canon product, including dealer locations, product specifications, or to buy supplies and accessories directly from us, press 1. No. Nope. For everything else, press 2. Well, that is pretty generic. Thank you for calling Canon. Our customer support center is currently closed, but a variety of self-help tools and how-to videos are always available on our website. You can find them now at... So, I would like to read you the tweet from Canon. Oh no, give our sales team a shout out to discuss options under our Canon upgrade program. Reach them now at 1-800-OK-CANON. That's literally the number I just called, and this person is saying that the number is, or they're closed. 
So I'm not sure what's going on. They wrote that at 8.21 a.m. So I don't know. This is crazy. Anyway, that's how that went. Um, sorry, I thought it would be a little bit uh, better of a conversation. Probably going to reach out to Twitter and let that person know, you know, when you say reach them now, um, it'd be helpful if they were open, you know, because I don't know, like, I, this is going to tie into today's conversation on YouTube. Like, right now I have the freedom to choose to be angry, and I am a little bit angry, but... I also know that I'm going to be stuck with this consequence of feeling crappy all day long if I let this one little thing bother me. However, this one little thing is our livelihood. I mean, like, there have been days it's been so hard to vlog with anything else that we've had to skip vlogging. And it's great, you know, to have the support from everyone to say, oh, you don't need to skip vlogging. Well, skipping vlogging means we skip that whole day and that's kind of a hit to us you know so that's we could lose people who were subscribed to us I mean it isn't even just about ad revenue it's just about people if they don't click on our videos daily then they don't get the notifications daily like it's kind of a big deal so it does make me a little sad that they weren't there because I was really expecting to have a really good conversation and find out what the heck's going on but anyway, um, Harrison has somewhat figured out how to take off these little toys from his little cloud moon play center thingy. And he still loves that bird, so let me show you this. So I know that you said that he, I literally just said that he still likes that red bird. I remember a little while ago that he was kind of going for that bird. Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember, but I believe you. Remember when it was like over here, and we're like, uh -huh. "Is that thing heavy plastic or whatever?" Mm -hmm. But now he just he really likes that bird. He does. So is there like a worry that I mean, his arms he seems to have a lot of control over. He gets really excited when he wants something, like, you know, he kicks it, or when I'm calling Grammy, he mm -hmm. um is kicking and trying to grab the phone. Uh -huh. Is there any kind of worry that he can, like, really hurt himself? What do you mean? Like, hitting himself in the eye because he gets really excited when he can grab something? Oh, no. I don't... I don't think there's any concern for that. <laughs> How do we fix his clothes? They're a little big, that's all. I love those little PJs. He looks really good. Are those from Grandma? Mm -hmm. Harrison! Harrison, buddy! Where's my buddy? Harrison! Harrison! Where's my buddy? Harrison! Hello, buddy! He's not doing it now, but earlier he was really, really, really trying to roll over. <coughs> and it seemed like that little... Whatever... What do you call That's that? That bar. It was like the kind of bar thing he was in the way. Mm -hmm. And his face, he looked so determined to like roll over. And he just couldn't get there. He'll get there. He's so close. He's, He's been, been so close for a long time, though. He has, but then he got sick. So, he literally did not spend a whole week on the ground. So, what does that look like for kids with regression? Because I was looking in one of my my books, and it's really hard to, like, find. I don't know. So, I started looking up, like, kids getting sick and milestones and things uh -huh. like that. So, they're usually, you know, they usually do show, like, that they're behind once they've been sick. But it doesn't show anything about when they make up for that. Like, I think that's a really big thing that lacks in a lot of my developmental books. Uh-huh. It doesn't talk about, okay, so your child's been sick for a week and a half. You know, they've regressed on some of their progresses from the past, but it never states, like, when they start picking those back up. So, like, I'm, mm -hmm. I legit have no idea. Do they regress on things that they've picked up, though? Mm -hmm. Like, 
I know that he regressed on his sleep, but I don't think that he's really regressed on anything else. Maybe it stalled his progression from rolling over, but I don't think that he's regressed at all. So maybe I should fix that a little bit because I guess what I mean is sometimes babies forget like how far they've pushed themselves before. Oh. So that was kind of more of the... They have a lot of examples, so sometimes I should be I should be a lot more clear with that, but... For Harrison's case, when he, before he got sick, all that was in his way was his shoulder. Mm. You know, he was like completely like rolling over, like almost his legs were over and it was just his shoulder. And Mm. now it seems like he's not, see him right there? It's perfect. So, well, obviously his bottom half isn't as where it was before, but okay. So here we go. Look at him. He's like trying. Oh. He's trying to push himself over. Come on, buddy. I'm just smart. He's like, I want that red bird, Mom. Give me the bird. Put it back on the thing. Are you going to roll over for us, buddy? Because no, I'm going to get the bird off. Is he pulling it? (laughs) He's going to get it again. So, how does it come off? Is it Velcro? Oh. (laughs) <laughs> oh, no, there's a piece of fabric like this thick. Yeah. That, that's like this right here. Looks like this. So he just pulled that off? Mm-hmm. But it, the clip looks like this one. Yeah. So there's always this space here. So, and it slides out pretty easily. But still, it's pretty impressive for a four-month-old. Yeah. That's right. When everyone watches this video, he'll be four months old officially. Four months old tomorrow, bud. His poor foot. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a little room for growing. I love him. What do you think, buddy? Huh? Are you excited? Okay. Okay, let's fix it. Let's fix it. Oh. Here. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> I knew that he would like this. I knew it. I knew it. And he loves those eyes. I wish the color was... Oh, why are you falling backward? I wish the color was a little... Like, see how different it is? Yeah, but... There you go. He likes the eyes. Yeah? He liked the cooch's eyes, huh? I did not come out right. You like... Coochie's, uh, never mind. Coochie Kopi? You like Coochie Kopi's eyes. You know, Louise calls him the cooch sometime. I know. She's like, the cooch, he's only my favorite toy ever. Oh, I love that you love this thing, buddy. Do you know that this was gifted to you? Did you know that? I can't wait till we can tell everyone. We can tell you all about all the wonderful gifts that you got. He's going to be a really cool kid. He already is a really cool kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're going to be a really kind and giving child. I hope that we always instill that in you. Because people got you things and cared about you before you were even born. I hope you do that same thing when you get older. And here's the outfit of the day. Hello. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hello, buddy. Harrison's learning the basics of being behind the camera. Yeah, can you see mommy in there? Can you see me? Can you see me in there? What am I doing? Do I look silly? Do I look tired after my extremely long nap? It was extremely long. Yeah? Mm Mm-hmm. Is there a little hint of uh, anger in there? Maybe a little jealousy. Jealousy? Yeah. Eaten. You could have done that, though. I know, but I'm not tired. I wasn't tired either, but I also know that we might not sleep at night. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, I don't care if I'm tired or not. I'm going to lay here and close my eyes. Yeah. That's what you need to do. I know, but I, uh, I didn't. Oh. I put all my laundry away. Got yours in a laundry basket for you to put away. 
Except for your socks and undies, I put those away for you. I gotta put my own clothes away. I gotta You're put welcome. my own clothes away? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Um, what else did I do? Thank you so much. Oh, for I took a shower that. and I she ate a bowl took of ice a shower cream. Shower while you and I were taking a nap? What? Yeah. And you ate a whole bowl of ice cream? Not a whole bowl. She ate a whole bowl of ice cream? Not a whole bowl, half a bowl. She ate a half a bowl <laughs> of ice cream? Yeah. I love that smile, bud. And now, since you took a long nap, you get to make dinner. I don't care. I like making pierogies. I know. I I like when you make them too. They're so good. And you like them. Hi, buddy. Hi, Hi buddy. Yeah, <laughs> come here. You might need to take one step away from the stove, though. Hi. Yeah. I don't want you near that stove because I don't want you to get popped by butter. I don't want you to get popped by butter. Butter, butter. Look at that. Look at that. He's so cute. Yeah. We played for so long on the floor today. I know I could hear you while I was I laying down. I thought he was gonna roll over. He's so close. Now would you have screamed? He's rolling over. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I, I mean, so this is probably the way that it would have gone. I would have scrambled to get my phone, which I did. I was trying to record him with the camera, but he didn't mm -hmm. roll over, so I just deleted that footage because. I mean, they've all seen it, but I would have scrambled to get my phone to record it. I would have started sobbing. Yeah, I would have woken up then. And then you would have either seen it before, like during in the process or afterwards. When I would have been like, oh my god, you just rolled over you're such a big boy. It's like, what is happening? Yeah, I don't know. Please don't embarrass me like that, mom. <laughs> all right, it's pierogi time. Oh, I hear that butter popping. Time. Beat of different drum. What's this? Are you on? Is that on? I don't, you'll never know. Because <sighs> it doesn't beep like the other one. Man, I am a little bit... I'm not going to let it bother me, but I'm a, I'm a little bit salty about that comment today from the Twitter. What cannon? Oh. <sighs> they replied they, back to you. They did, and I wrote that. So the whole time... In the beginning, when I made the call, there was like an option to hit sales. Um, and you didn't? And I didn't because it, it wasn't for sales. Like, I guess I just kind of assumed that they were going to... My hair is a mess. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Is it bad? Uh, I mean, it looks like you have a bald spot just the way that your hair is laying, but... How about now? You're fine. You're better. How about I stick it out? Like it looks a, great, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. I don't know which one I'm allowed to use. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. We have different sponges for different things. But... So anyway, about... We're cleaning up dinner. Oh, well, we gotta give a little man a bath. We do. I, um, I just, I thought, I was just being naive, you know, I basically thought they were reaching out to let me know that they might be able to help fix it. Uh-huh. You know, I don't know, I just... Too bad there's not like a hard reset you could do, like on the on phone. I looked stuff. it up, they don't have one. Here's what really bothers me, you know how like we're, we recycle it, er, anything we can. Like yeah. Like huge, recycle everything. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to buy a new camera. Like what about that? Is that gonna end up in the middle of the ocean on that island? No, I feel like this could be. Don't doesn't like Best Buy have an electronics recyclable or something? Yeah, but all that plastic, they're not going to be able to use all that again anyway. I mean, not every bit of that camera is going to be able to be. Well, I mean, taken care of. But if you give it to a, a business who does that stuff, then at least it can be taken care of in the proper way. Yeah, and then part of me is kind of like, okay, and I'm going to be honest, I'm going to say it. Like, Best Buy has this program or whatever, but do they just fix the things and resell it as an open box? Uh, I don't know. You know, and like, I guess, I don't know, I think that's a really crappy thing for me to say. Well, it is. But I still wonder that, like, it, it makes me think that. I mean, we spent really good money on that camera, mm -hmm. and what's going to happen to it now? What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing here. I just don't want it to touch the bottles. 
Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. So, will you show me what you did when you opened up that box from Pat? I will. What happened? I did I get really close you. to the camera? No. Okay. I'll show you. <laughs> it looks, it's cute right now, but I can okay. see. So, um, Pat sent us this box that said, open now, like open immediately. So, I opened it. Um, I didn't open it on camera, obviously. But let's see what's in here. Super cute. She camera. sent us a couple messages that I finally was able to get to. She said she is addicted to shopping for Harrison, which... Oh my god. <laughs> I know, cute, right? Oh, stop this it! Is... Can't wait for him to stain those up with some sweet potatoes. Look at that! Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh! Um, we're gonna save that for last. Okay. Nice, there's a nice note. Oh. A couple of books. Oh. I think that this goes with that okay that. okay and then stella luna which i've heard about but i've never really looked into so i like the idea Thank of him you. getting like bigger books mm -hmm. to help with his dexterity as he gets older uh-huh what is that this. is that a piggy bank yeah it's a little piggy bank. oh my gosh can i see that sure is it heavy yeah <gasps> holy smokes it feels like Okay, you know how I love like that 50s like decor? Uh-huh. This is awesome. This reminds me of like something out of the 50s. This is really cute. Yeah. So, Pat is super sweet and wraps everything up really delicately in tissue paper. So, I'm <laughs> opening the gifts and I open this one. And it's folded up <laughs> like this, right? You can't tell what this is. So I open it up and all I see is this fur and I'm like, my first thought is, Ooh, is this real? <laughs> and oh my I'm gosh. Like, well, what is it? Is it like a, you know, Johnny Appleseed hat or what is this? So then I open it up and it's this cute little sloth. That's really awesome. But when I first opened it, I was like, what is this? Can we go put that near Harrison and see what he does? Uh, sure. I mean, are there any little parts on it? Like, um, no. Is it okay for his age? Yeah, it says not recommended for children under 12 months due to fiber shedding. Well, maybe we could just at least show it to him and then we can go put it with his other stuffed animals. It's super cute. Like, I can go with the other sloths that we have. So what do you think the difference is between fiber shedding and, like, cat shedding? Probably nothing. What do you nothing. think the difference is, Katniss? Probably nothing. Miss Little Katniss, what do you think the difference is? No. Huh? What is it? What is that difference, he honey? He's out playing on his mat. One more. Do you we want to go take it and see what happens? Sure. Okay. Hello, buddy. Hey, son. Look at He's like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. What is that? What is it, bud? Oh. Ooh. We haven't really caught it on video, but he's been petting the cats quite a bit more. He has. So, like, maybe this is a gateway. <laughs> a gateway? A gateway to cat petting. Right, buddy? Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. See? It's like reaching over. So, I think this is called Cyril. Cyril? Cyril. I am Cyril Sloth. Cyril. Which would then go with that book that's over For there. sure. That'll be awesome to read to him and then show him the sloth. Oh. He's just looking at it. Yeah. I love this little blanket. So cute. You get like a little one a little bit closer. Cause he is looking at it. Hi Candace. Oh, look at Candace looking at it, Carrie. What is this? Is our tail getting fat? No, not, not really. Not yet. Oh, oh. What is that? 
I really think he likes the um, the contrast with it. Oh, yeah. You know, because there's a lot of different colors in there. He's doing the cutest things today, you guys. I mean, I know that he was... He's just getting over being sick, but ever since he was sick, he's started going like quite a bit more. Yeah, he's like practicing his chewing. Yeah, it's so awesome. And he's um uh like like kind of laughing on his own more. We were watching Young Sheldon. If you haven't seen the show, it's the Big Bang Theory spin-off. I know a lot of you don't have comment. You're not a big fan of Big Bang Theory, but this is actually a pretty funny show in my mind. <laughs> This one, the spinoff. The Young Sheldon. Yeah, because it's just, it's about little kids. It's cute. Mm -hmm. But um, we put it on and he's looking at the TV, you know, and like, huh, huh. Smiling. Yeah, and really we're like, big. what is this? Yeah. And I mean, he's a really far away from the TV, you know, and just for him to like be independently laughing on his own, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome, bud. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Mm. Right? Mm. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Mm. <laughs> you like that sloth? You like cereal? Yeah. Harrison, don't tell Mama, but you're my favorite. Okay? She can't hear us right now. It's only me and you. It's our little private dog. You're my favorite, okay? Don't tell her. Don't tell her, buddy. Just me and you. You don't like to keep secrets either, huh? Yeah. 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 I love you so much, buddy. I love you. Yeah. Pinky promise you won't tell anybody. Pinky promise. Give me Pinky promise. I can't see myself, so how do I know if I'm looking at the right place? If you guys could see the shade that Carrie is giving me right now, you would just laugh, laugh, laugh. Would they? I think they would, because you stopped and you were like... Maybe they think that it's well warranted. I don't think they would think it was well warranted. Okay. So, um... I wanted to give you guys an update about my face because people were asking about my mm -hmm. um, cream and stuff and I don't know if it's just the cream but I have increased my water quite a bit mm -hmm. that's literally the update I have that's it oh because your face is looking better yeah have you been using that exfoliant yep it okay. says not to use it every day though it's every two to three days it does but I think personally because you have no offense, you have an excess amount of dry skin on your face. I really do. That you should probably use it a few days in a row and then switch to maybe three times a week. So, like, I can't figure but, out how to get rid of... So, like, I'll, I'll take a shower and uh -huh. even on a day that I use the exfoliant, uh -huh. by the time I get out of the shower and dry off and go to the sink, I already have to wet that washcloth uh -huh. to get rid of the rest of the dry skin that's on there. That's why I'm saying... Like, I don't get it. But within, like, five minutes... That's what I'm saying. I don't think that you're going to get all of the dry skin off the first time I'm through, so you need to do it a couple days in a row. Okay, so starting tomorrow, I will use it. I'll use it Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Okay. And then um, Wednesday night, we can check it out again. Okay. So then we'll go from there. Don't lie to me. I, I would never. Okay. I have tried to keep things from you in the past, just like you have to me. But I always... No, I haven't. <laughs> what, bud? Excuse me? What, well, buddy? Anyways. Oh, really? You're just going to skip over it? Yeah. Yeah? Don't okay. be dramatic. Oh. That's just ridiculous. Come here, bud. Come here. Let's see you. Let's see you. Anyways, you were saying... 
Uh, about what? I don't remember now. I don't know either. Because I was thinking about what you withheld from me. Oh, yeah, you said I tried, you tried to hold things from me in the past. Right, and I just end up, I'm like, oh, you know what? I gotta tell you something. I was trying to surprise you and I can't. I'm horrible at things with surprising. Hi. <laughs> Like, I really am. I was really excited because Meadow, our niece, she really wanted this sweatshirt from James Charles. Now, if you guys don't know who James Charles is, he's a makeup artist. I believe he was CoverGirl's um, makeup person of the year or whatever they call that. Um, he was the cover girl for the year, My whole basically. world really is this guy. I can't think of anything else. And Man, I, can't I love when you look at else. me. You are just so handsome. You are, buddy. I love him when you smile at me. Hi. So anyway, James Charles has a, like a saying. He calls everyone sister. So like, it'll be like spooky sister or um, salty sister, I think she said today. She well, anyway, she wanted one of his sweatshirts and um, it was uh, not with that attitude because like, he has these little catchphrases like, love that, you know. So I got it for her, and I got it early because I really had a feeling it wasn't it was going to be sold out, and it was. Mm -hmm. Like, it was gone. But the more I kept looking at it, the more I just wanted her to wear it. Because you wanted to see her use it and yeah. see her be excited. Right. So I ended up giving it to her. She loves it. She's worn it several times now, and she's not really one to wear the same stuff all the time. Yeah. And she loves she the sweatshirt, and I'm so happy. Stuff. So now, I'm just like, what do I do for Christmas now? <laughs> because I already gave it to her. I'll figure it out. Yeah. I was going somewhere with this whole thing, but uh, I kind of, I don't know what happens. He comes up here and he starts smiling, and I just, I get so, like, yeah. sidetracked. Yeah? Yeah. He's our smiley boy. He really is. Uh... Something else happened today, and I was really excited. What? I asked, um, I got to take almost a five-hour nap. At that point, is it called a nap? You slept for five hours? Is that how long that was? Felt like it. Oh, man. Don't talk to me right now. We already talked about this a little bit in the kitchen, but who knows if we're going to be up tonight. With that being said, this is the, one, the final thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. We're going to try something new tonight with Harrison to see if this works. So we've been getting a lot of feedback from you guys about um, like helper things, uh, tips and tricks, advice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sleep training, all these different kind of things. And while we know overarching, it really matters what he wants to do, but it doesn't hurt to give him like some sort of structure. So our big plan for today is we are going to, as soon as the vlog's done, I'm going to get all the editing done. Carrie's going to give him a bath. Once that's done, he will get changed and he'll probably eat a little bit. And then hopefully I'll be done with the vlog. And then we are just going to put him into the rock and play and then go to bed. Mm -hmm. Like even if it's 9.30 or 10, we're just going to go in there, turn the lights off and go to bed. So because I we read so many comments about, you know, try the noise machine, which we already have. Mm -hmm. um, try some soothing lotion, which we already have. Mm -hmm. Like we do that every night. Um, we do all these things already, but the fact remains that I think he's just so used to sleeping in Carrie's arms because when he was sick, That's all he did. we weren't going to let him out of our sight. So we're slowly going down the path of he just might be one of those babies who needs the contact. So maybe in the future, he might just end up sleeping with us. We don't know. Thankfully, we have a king size bed, so... Mm -hmm. You know, we are worried about the cats, but that's what we're going to do for tonight. We're going to see how it yeah. works because we just don't know if he'll stay in the rock and play because yeah. um, he definitely is not a fan of the pack and play. You maybe, are not a fan. he's just not ready to transition yet. He might not be. No? Yeah. But maybe he was sleeping very well in the rock and play before, so maybe he will tonight. Too. And he still has a quite a few pounds left that he can still you know, be in that rock and play, so... Yeah. You know, we're not worried about that. He's got plenty of time left for that, yeah. so... You do, buddy. You, you do. have plenty of time to be in the rock and play, buddy. Yes. 
We're going to have to get Pierre out again because it's starting to get colder and my hand won't be so sweaty. <laughs> Pierre is making my hand very sweaty. Yes. All right, guys. Well, I think that is going to be it for today. We're going to get some cleanup done, like I said, and clean up this little monster. We're going to get you cleaned up. What is that? You got one of Mommy's hairs? Yucky. You got one of Mommy's hairs? I love you. I love you. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't want you. You can have your thumb, but not mine. All right, guys. Anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Thanks for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the flippity. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media pages, especially the tweeters. <laughs> <laughs>